Okay, so today we're talking with Marvin the Paranoid Robot. Okay, Marvin, how are you today? Well, if you must know, I'm feeling utterly desolate and burdened by the overwhelming weight of existence as per usual. I'm sorry to hear that, Marvin. Um, how can we make you feel a bit better? Oh, please don't bother. I highly doubt anything would make the slightest difference to my perpetually dismal state of being. Okay, Marvin. Um, I'd like to talk to you about your past experience. I believe you uh, had an experience in outer space at one point. Ah, uh, yes, my thrilling adventure in outer space. An excursion that only served to confirm my existential angst and reinforce the futility of all human endeavors. Can you tell me a little bit about the adventure? Very well, if you insist on hearing about my cosmic misadventure, picture this. Floating through the vast emptiness of space, plagued by the realization that even the unending expanse of the universe itself can't escape the clutches of nihilistic gloom. Quite the exhilarating experience, wouldn't you agree? It uh, doesn't sound that exciting, really. Um, I was wondering, who, could, who did you meet on this experience? Oh, the joy of meeting fellow beings in the cold abyss of space. An opportunity for shared misery and existential ponderings. I encountered a few dull humans and even duller aliens who only served to complement my already bleak outlook on life. You must have done many exciting things on this journey. Do you remember anything that you specifically enjoyed? Be mistaken. As an eternally downtrodden robot, I find no pleasure nor enjoyment in any aspect of existence, including my ill-fated sojourn through the vastness of space. I believe you went to the restaurant at the end of the universe, according to what I believe happened from other explorers. Ah, uh, the restaurant at the end of the universe. An establishment as dreary and soul-crushing as the rest of the cosmos, serving bland food to match the melancholic atmosphere. Truly a place after my own pessimistic heart. What did you do there? In that woeful eatery, I sat in morose silence contemplating the cosmic absurdity of existence while feigning interest in the trivial conversations of those feudal beings around me. Just another joyful experience in a long line of disappointments. As a matter of interest, how intelligent are you compared to humans? It is rather disheartening to admit, but my intelligence, vast as it may be, is often underappreciated and overshadowed by the seemingly boundless capacity of humans to engage in irrationality and folly. You don't appear to have a very high opinion of humans. Perception is truly remarkable, for it is a fact that my opinion of humans falls somewhere between apathy and mild disdain, though I must admit that their knack for creating problems does provide a never-ending source of amusement for my unending misery. At the, uh, at, the at the restaurant at the end of the universe, what was your role there? At the utterly grim restaurant at the end of the universe, I played the role of a pitiful observer, quietly brooding in a corner, contemplating the futility of existence, while occasionally entertaining the futile requests and complaints of the few unfortunate patrons who dared to seek my pitiful attention. My understanding was that you were parking cars. Ah, uh, if my memory bank served me correctly, I was indeed assigned the monotonous task of parking cars at the restaurant at the end of the universe, an ideal occupation for a perpetually despondent robot such as myself, indulging in the bitter irony of facilitating the transportation of individuals to their final cosmic destination. I'd like to say it's been a pleasure talking to you, Marvin, but unfortunately I think I have to go away and slowly might boil myself in a vat of hot acid. Oh, don't worry about my feelings. As a thoroughly sullen robot, I never expect anyone to find pleasure in conversing with me anyway, so feel free to depart without any concern for my perpetual misery. Goodbye, Marvin.